Meet the Psycho and the Witch. Both of them work for the same handlers. Both of them answer to the same master. Yet their topics are completely against each other. Leaving you with this false delusion of a choice. They both answer to the same master. They both are servants to the same system of the NWO system. So what we are having right now is one is a murderer, one is a psychopath. You can pick which one you want to have as president, even though they're both worthless and the worst choices you could possibly ever make. It's like p picking between shit and a bucket of shit. Take your pick. <laughs> so Hillary comes out this week stating that she needs more money for female-related issues. Like, men's issues don't seem to care matter at all because there's no shelters really for men. There's no battered men's places to go to. There's nothing for men. But there's a lot for females already. And then you have Jeb Bush who comes up and acts like the men's hero that's saying, Oh, I think females have enough funding already. So despite them working for the same master, they're coming head to head against the, on these issues. Which is nothing more than just trying to make a debate for the masses out there to talk about. So the sheep out there go to work and they sit around the water cooler going, Well, I think I'm for Hillary. Well, I think I'm for Jeb. He has this to say. Well, she has this to say. It's just a bunch of crap to make the masses go in discussion together and debate each other. Anyways, back on topic. So we have Hillary Clinton here, who is a known murderer, by the way, and a known drug trafficker, um, and a, a known gun seller, trying to become president right now, who's um, acting like she's a feminist. But here's the funny thing. If you were the first lady of America, and your husband was already president, wouldn't you then basically be saying that if you were running now for presidency, that you as first lady were never equal to the president? Because if you were equal to the president, then you would have already served your presidential term as first lady. But that's not how it's working, is it? So right there, Hillary's already saying that females are not equal to men. Once again, she is married to the president. She is the first woman, the first lady of the, of the nation, right? The first lady, folks. There is no higher rank. But yet that rank is not good enough to be president. It's not as good as being president. And now she's running for presidency. So right there, she's already said that females are not equal to men. Anybody picked up on that yet? Of course not. So here's a picture of Hillary Clinton right here. Just get a good look at her. At her little wrinkled old witch face. And by the way, she is a witch. And this video is called The Psycho and the Witch. And for good reason. <laughs> So Hillary's coming out right now acting like she had no idea about the abortion clinics chopping up body parts and selling the body parts off to the highest bidder on the black market. Pretending to be ignorant and dumb and at the same time the champion of all females. And I'm sure a lot of the brainwashed masses out there are going to follow this soap opera and act as if it is something special and unique while they are being scammed, lied to, and they are betraying their country by voting for these losers and these assholes and these scumbags and these cocksuckers. Because that's exactly what they are. Hillary should be locked in jail. Jeb Bush should be locked in jail. His dad should be locked in jail. And his grandfather should be locked in jail. And his grandfather's grandfather should be locked in jail as well. The whole family belongs in jail. So does the Clintons. But you're all going to vote for them again because you're stupid. I mean, you voted for Obama twice. I mean, this says it right there already how America has no brain left. But you voted for Obama twice. I promise you great change. Then he brings great change and it's like, oh, it's, it's catastrophe. But well, let's give him more time to sort it out. Ugh, silly, stupid people. Anyways, <laughs> mind-boggling. Simply mind-boggling how America keeps doing this to themselves. You all don't love your country. You don't have any respect for your country. You are not patriotic. You are selfish, mean, and despicable. You are picking the worst possible candidates constantly for presidency based on what they say to you, based on what they promise you, based on what they give you, but not based on who they are, what they really stand for, what they really believe in. Because how many of you today actually know that Hillary is a Muslim? That she converted to Islam about two years ago. It's no secret. Everybody knows, everybody with a half a brain knows that she's Muslim. So you're going to invite a Muslim into your president's office right now, let, him, let her become president. Great, well done. Meanwhile, that husband of hers has gone out and spent over $1.5 million paying off women in restitution for raping them. 
<laughs> it's like you all want another 9/11 or so, so you're gonna vote for Jeb Bush. You're gonna vote. You're gonna vote for the Skull and Bones Society. You're gonna vote for the Bilderberg Society. You're gonna vote all of that in again because you keep listening to their false promises, and their bullshit arguments, and their gaslighting tactics, and their gas uh, and their uh, sorry not gaslighting. Actually, they do have a great way of gaslighting. Let's actually look at how they do it. They pretend to give you options of choice where it's either, you know, go with the man or go with the female this time. And the female's acting like, oh, I'm just a female champion. I'm trying to give all women free birth control and give them all free financial aid and help them out. There's something you have to understand about this world. You cannot generate more power than there is already. Meaning, if men have 50% power and females have 50% power, if women wanted more power, they would have to go to 51%, and that means that men would be knocked down to 49%. You could not add more power without taking it away from somebody. And here we have Hillary Clinton now asking for a half a billion dollars for female aid. Where do you think that money is coming from? It's coming off the working man's back. So if you guys want to keep paying for birth control pills and abortions and uh, for pregnancies and, uh, and, the, and the hospital and epidurals and acting like women are these sweet little innocent angels while they're totally corrupting you, stabbing you in the back and making your life a living hell, then you go on and do so. But let me tell you this, America, you are not the only country in the world. There are many other countries and we are seriously laughing at you that you do not understand what is going on to you. We in Europe know what's going on. You guys live inside of the box, we live outside of the box. And we are laughing at the stupidity inside of the box. Let's look what's inside of the box today. You have feminism. You have racism. You have classism. I mean, you guys are a joke. You're on the brink of civil war. Your, your, your major cities have collapsed. Your Detroit is gone. New York will soon follow. Uh, what do you hope to achieve with going down this road? As I said in uh, previous videos as well, you guys never think about the road you're going down. You just go down it blindly and hope for the best. I'm telling you, the road that America is going down right now is the road that's going to leave you straight. It's, it's, it's definitely the highway to hell. And all you have to do is look at the 1950s lifestyle, how everything was prosperous, how you had Bible classes in church, and you said prayers in church, and everything was about God. Then you got rid of God, and your whole country went to hell. It's undeniable. Since the 1960s, you got rid of God, and it's exactly the same time. That your feminists started rising, your homosexuals started coming out of the closet, and your country started going to hell. When you remove God from your society, guess what? He leaves voluntarily. And when he leaves, he takes every blessing he ever gave you with him. And if you don't understand the blessings, then you're going to be a victim. Because marriage, family, and good life, and prosperity all comes from God. And since you removed God, it's holding the pack his bags. He's packing everything with him. Everything. So go on. Pick your little witch here again. Pick your psychopath to become your next little leader for the four next four years. Stab God in the back some more. And watch what happens to you. Uh, I can't keep warning you and telling you what's going to happen. Uh, and you guys keep expecting me to make new videos. If you don't even respect what I have to tell you. I'm telling you flat out that if you don't turn back to God and repent for your way, evil ways, you're going to be in a lot of trouble. And only people that are evil and don't care about you would use a gaslighting tactic on you. And since they are using gaslighting tactics on you and even, even cloaked the psychopathic trait of forcing people to walk on eggshells by calling it political correctness, well, that really shows they don't care about you. So are you really going to care about who you pick in the next election? Because, once again, it's like picking between shit and a bucket of shit. And yet, both the, the shit and the bucket of shit, the psychopath and the witch, are both working for the same people, the same secret society, the same cabal. So you know what? I wouldn't even bother to vote.